Right now, in the vast emptiness of the California desert, something extraordinary is happening. Something the U.S. government won't talk about, something Lockheed Martin won't confirm, and something the rest of the world is quietly terrified of. An aircraft that could fly from New York to Los Angeles in just 12 minutes. An aircraft so fast that even the most advanced enemy radars can't track it, and the best missiles on Earth can't catch it. This is the State Route 72 Dark Star, the rumored successor to the legendary State Route 71 Blackbird, and the machine that could redefine American air dominance for the next 50 years. Most people think this aircraft is still in development. But what if I told you there's growing evidence it may have already flown? Before we talk about the future, we have to revisit the legend that started it all. The State Route 71 Blackbird. A jet designed in the 1960s, yet still the fastest acknowledged air-breathing aircraft ever built. Mach 3.2, 85,000 feet, and over its entire operational history, more than 4,000 missiles were fired at it. None ever hit, not one. The Blackbird didn't rely on stealth. It didn't rely on maneuvering. Its defensive strategy was simple, fly faster than anything else on Earth. And for decades, nothing came close, but technology evolves. Air defenses have become smarter. Radars have become more powerful. Stealth aircraft like the B-2 and F-35 that once terrified adversaries are now being challenged by new detection technologies from China and Russia. The airspace that America once ruled with impunity is becoming more dangerous. And that's why the State Route 72 exists, not just to outrun the threats of today, but to outrun the threats of the next century. Mach 6, six times the speed of sound, over 4,600 miles per hour. At that speed, you're covering a mile every single second. Imagine this, by the time an enemy radar detects you, calculates your trajectory, prepares a missile, launches it, and tries to guide it toward your position. You're already hundreds of miles away. To them, you're a ghost, a blur, a moving shadow that cannot be targeted, cannot be intercepted, and cannot be stopped. Russia and China have spent billions developing hypersonic missiles, single-use weapons that burn up after one shot. Impressive, yes, but America has been working on something far more revolutionary, a reusable hypersonic aircraft. Something that takes off from a runway like a normal jet, accelerates to Mach 6, flies across the world in minutes, gathers intelligence, and, if needed, launches hypersonic weapons of its own. This isn't science fiction. This is real engineering, and the key to making it work is the most advanced propulsion system ever created, the turbine-based combined cycle engine. For decades, hypersonic aircraft faced the same impossible challenge. Jet engines work at low speeds, scramjets work at high speeds, but nothing in between worked for both. You needed two engines for two different flight regimes. Lockheed Martin and Aerojet Rocketdyne solved that by creating a single integrated propulsion system. Takeoffs happen on turbine power. As the jet accelerates past Mach 3, the airflow shifts. The scramjet activates. The aircraft transitions into hypersonic mode. Transitioning engines at thousands of degrees and thousands of miles per hour is like trying to change the heart of a living creature while it's sprinting full speed. Yet, in 2017, they announced they completed full-scale testing. The world wasn't paying attention. China and Russia certainly were. But propulsion is only half the problem. At Mach 6, the jet is flying through air that behaves more like molten gas than atmosphere. The leading edges heat up to temperatures that would melt steel and even titanium. The State Route 71 used titanium, but at hypersonic speeds, titanium loses the fight. So engineers turned to carbon-carbon composites, the same materials used on space shuttles, ballistic missiles, and spacecraft re-entering Earth's atmosphere. Materials capable of withstanding temperatures over a thousand degrees without deforming. Even the fuel plays a role. The State Route 72 is expected to use JP-7, a heat-resistant fuel so stable that you can't ignite it with a match. The fuel circulates through the aircraft's skin, absorbing heat like blood cooling a living organism before being fed into the engines. It's not just fuel. It's part of the cooling system, part of the structural integrity, part of the aircraft's ability to survive hellish temperatures. 
but there's something even more surprising. The State Route 72 isn't being designed as a manned aircraft. No cockpit, no pilot, no human limitations. Humans simply cannot endure the G-forces generated at hypersonic speeds, nor can they react quickly enough. At Mach 6, emergencies unfold in milliseconds. That's why the State Route 72 will be autonomous, an AI-driven hypersonic platform capable of making precision decisions faster than any human. And while unmanned, it may still be optionally piloted for certain missions. That's classic skunk works thinking, flexibility, adaptability, and future-proof design. So what will the State Route 72 actually do? First, real-time intelligence. Satellites orbit in predictable paths. Enemy nations hide when satellites pass overhead. But you cannot hide from something that can appear anywhere on Earth with no warning within an hour. The State Route 72 turns the entire planet into accessible territory. Second, time-sensitive strike missions. Hypersonic weapons launched from a Mach 6 aircraft would be nearly unstoppable. Even if detected, there's no defense system in the world fast enough to intercept them. Third, psychological dominance. Just as the State Route 71 terrified Soviet commanders, knowing they were being watched from the edge of space, the State Route 72 would restore that advantage. It tells adversaries, you cannot hide, you cannot run, and we will always be faster than your defenses. But here's the question everyone asks. Is the State Route 72 actually real? All the signs say yes. In 2021, Lockheed built a massive new production facility, far larger than anything required for prototypes. Financial reports show over $335 million in overruns on a classified aeronautics project. Skunk work staffing has more than doubled. And Lockheed executives, when asked about the State Route 72, never deny it. They simply say, we are working on advanced hypersonic systems and the future of reconnaissance. There's the Top Gun Maverick connection too. Lockheed's engineers helped design the Dark Star scene in the film. They built a full-scale model and China actually moved satellites to inspect it. A Hollywood prop doesn't trigger that kind of response. Something real is happening. And maybe the biggest clue of all, Lockheed posted that the State Route 71 is still the fastest acknowledged air-breathing manned aircraft. That word, acknowledged, says everything. If the State Route 72 is real, if it is flying, then America is not just in the hypersonic race. America is decades ahead. Because while China builds weapons, the United States is building the future. The State Route 72 isn't just an aircraft. It's a message. A reminder that American engineering still leads the world. A signal that air dominance will remain in U.S. hands for the next generation. And proof that someday soon, the skies over the world will once again be ruled by a machine that no missile can catch, no radar can lock, and no enemy can hide from. This is the State Route 72 Dark Star. And it's coming.